Okay, so we're finally done with the tutorial level, so now we can finally continue on with the story. Uh... Hold on a sec. Yeah, that was weird. Um, my audio was out of sync for whatever reason. Which doesn't really make sense because I recorded it directly off my PS3, so... And it's been in sync the whole time so far. So I'm not quite sure why it's a split second off right now. Eh, well, whatever. It's it take a little bit to to resync it, and then it's fine. So yeah, I'm just checking the shop. You got you want to check current a lot to make sure you have the best gear. Um. Now while there is the item world, the reason you want to buy shit from the shops, even if it's not even useful, is because the more money you spend there the more your customer rank will go up. And when your rank goes up, you can pass a bill in the Senate that allows you to buy even greater stuff from the shop. And to be honest, you can abuse this system pretty easily if you have enough money, and you can buy equipment that you can receive well before whatever the normal missions in the story are giving out. And that's why you want to uh, constantly increase the weapon rank of the shop. It's super useful. Um, and if you wanted to... Certain weapons have higher chances of certain innocents appearing in them than others. I, like uh, certain weapons have a higher chance of firefighters impairing them, for example, and firefighters increase your fire resistance. So if you wanted them specifically, you could buy those. Oh, I got stuck. How is this possible? She arrived here before me. She's trying to make it look like I was late. <laughs> there you are. I didn't want to be late, so I've been waiting here since last night. Go. Tonight, she's pretty good. My lord, please don't take this idiot so seriously. Excuse me? Don't you dare call a lady an idiot! Plus, we just met! Shut up, lass. Idiot is still too kind of a word to describe a kid who would declare war against my lord. Ugh, I'm so pissed right now! I'll annihilate you and all of the Prennies! It'll be total annihilation for all of you! Do you know what that word means? It means I'm gonna kill all of you! But why? I don't understand. You're, you're all just human souls. Why are you going to fight your compatriots? My compatriots? What's that mean? It means that they're your own kind. Whatever. I just haven't learned it in class yet. Anyways, did you say they're my own kind? You don't know what we've had to go through because of those lousy grinnies. I can't stand living like this anymore. I want to have a happier dream. To put an end to this nightmare, I need to get rid of you guys! And thus, whether wanted or not, the war which later became known as Prinny War I began. <laughs> yeah. Um, as I was saying, um, certain weapons have certain innocence that appear in them more often than in other weapons. And like I said, firefighters increase your fire resistance, so if you wanted to increase that, you would buy the weapon where they appear in the most and you would farm them. Farm as in you keep har harvesting a certain attribute, that being that innocent. That's the weird thing, and Fuka, that, that's the funny thing. When I watch that character, it's, I, I, I'm pretty sure the creators were like trying to strike, a go for a certain irony because she constantly talks about being girly and femininity and, sh and stuff like that, yet all of her, yet she's proficient in axes of all things. And she loves playing baseball. Two non-characteristically female attributes, if you ask me. And if you ask most people. So that's kind of funny. Also, if you haven't noticed by now, Fuka is voiced by Kate Higgins. If you know who 
if you don't know who Kate Higgins is, she is Sakura in Naruto, and she is C2 from Code Geass. Two very popular anime, if you watch it at all. And she's probably really good fit, considering Kate Higgins as Sakura is quite good and is and that character is known especially in the early roles for being <laughs> just a pissant aggregate that is just so eagerly pissed off and she's good at that she's good at that um as far as i am now in the story i i, I i'm surprised i thought i would like fuka a lot more than i currently do but that's not really the case. But you know what? I'll let the story progress more until you see that out. This. this level is a bitch. This is this is the first level where if you haven't played this game this. before, you're really gonna have to use your noggin to figure out what to do here. I mean, we got throwing, we got geo blocks, we got altitude, and this is shit. A lot of the game never bothered to tell this. you about. I mean, the game never really told you that. If you notice the DMs on the upper right corner, um, that's, you know, dimensions, and that's like verticality. That's for, that's for like the up and down. If you look at your specials, each one has a certain verticality. And if you're, and if you're, the enemy is at a level that is higher than the maximum amount of your verticality for the attack you won't be able to hit and that comes out a lot and that might confuse a lot of newbies here <laughs> oh shit the sound is already off again i'm gonna have to configure this a little bit after this recording is done <laughs> all right Honestly, I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm, I, I guess maybe yeah. I, I use a HD PVR yeah. hall podge. I, I believe that's what it's pronounced. How it's pronounced to record this footage. Um, it's the only way to record in high def, which I insist upon. I'm kind of a snob when it comes to visuals these days. I absolutely insist on uploading my videos in HD. <laughs> And, of course, my hard drive suffers as a result. Even if I have two terabytes of space, it already, it's like halfway used up from hard drive video. But that's what I have my Blu-ray burner for. I, bur I burn the shit onto the Blu-ray disc afterwards. But it's totally worth it, I swear. Um, I know some other people are as snobbish as to visuals as I am. Maybe even more so. Actually, I'm pretty sure more so. And that's why I want to make sure I get, like, the best videos quality you can find on YouTube. I mean, I've already looked, and the game's been out for, as of right now, two days, officially. Although, like I said, a lot of people have gotten the game, like, a week before the official release date from Nipponichi in the mail. So, good for them. I'm sure they're a lot farther in the game than I am, and even though I'm close... But, uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah. Some people have already uploaded videos on YouTube and whatnot. They've streamed their their videos. And, like, it's like... Oh, it's like, oh, come check out my stunning 360p quality. <laughs> and, like... Here I come. Uh, the game can run in 1080p. Why are you doing that? And, you know, if they can't, then... You know, I totally understand. But if you want views, you gotta offer the best possible shit possible <laughs> that is to say and I'm a stickler for quality I I want to make sure my shit is up to par before I put it out and so I bothered buying an HD PVR which for retail is $200 but I got mine off eBay for like 160 or so totally worth it by the way like if you think that isn't worth the price think about it you can record anything not just video games, you can record yeah. TV and stuff in HD as well yeah. and save it for labor. It's it's really a steal, if you ask me. Especially if you use it a lot, like I do. I've already used it for 
at least 50 hours of footage at this point. Yeah. <sighs> and I totally lost my track of thought. We're not even talking about it anymore. Um... <laughs> Boing? Boing? I, what, I wasn't talking about Boing, but that's what they're talking about. Um, but yeah, the, uh, there's competition, and if you don't put out a certain quality to your video that people aren't happy with, they're gonna look somewhere else. I mean, admittedly, I'm not getting many views right now, barely a hundred per video, um, where I, I would love to get to the part where I get a few thousand people watching my videos. Um, but I'm just doing fucking Let's Plays right now. I mean, I've been working on a top 10 video for the past few months. <laughs> but like I said, that shit takes a long time to do. And I'm not exactly used to all the, uh, these Adobe programs quite yet. I, and I don't want to put out a video unless I'm assured it's worth your time to watch. Because... I've seen some amateurish work on YouTube and on some other sites, and you know, it, it kind of ticks me off, only because, I mean, God bless them for trying to find an audience, but like I said, I'm kind of a snob where if you can't put out good production values and you can't provide a good product, why bother in the first place? That's just me. And so, a lot of you might say, what I'm doing right now is utter shit. I can understand that. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not really up to snuff yet, but I, I swear, I, I'm trying really hard to provide genuine entertainment. I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm somewhat of an introvert, but when I'm comfortable, I... I, I, I like to make people laugh and entertain. It's it's what I do. So I, I'm I'm not just gonna put out a video with. Like, I'm, admittedly, this battle's been going on for like what, ten minutes now. It, it's kind of boring, to be honest. This level, in particularly, I hate just simply because it took so long, and there's not a lot of new features to show you. So, like I said, I. I want to provide as much new and genuine content as possible, and I want it to be I genuinely entertaining. I, I, I mean, okay, I procrastinated a lot and I'm somewhat lazy, but I will finish this, this other video I'm working on. This is sort of like to fill in the gaps as I work on that project, but when I'm done, I, I swear, I really hope people like it because I, I would have put a lot of effort into it and I think it would have been worth it. And that's the end of the stage! Thank God! Because that level sucked if you hadn't noticed by the whole time. Not bad, guys. As expected of my dream, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Dream? What is that last talking about? Who knows? Just the blathering of an idiot. It's best to just ignore it. What's the status of the Prinny Exterminators? They have encountered the enemy and have engaged them in battle as planned. The outcome is fairly obvious, but as long as some Prinnies are gotten rid of, it'll help justify our plans. And what about the Abaddon? Have you heard anything from them? Unfortunately, they have been MIA since their encounter with the enemy. I see. Amazing. When are you ever going to grow up?